Wiki Wiki is Hawaiian for quickly. And um, Wikipedia was Fastpedia. And then it's a collaborative effort, uh, collaborative high-tech effort from folks all over the world. And so it has a high-tech collaborative association, even though Wiki is just the Hawaiian word for fast. And so we did Wiki Speed for Speed Speed. I thought that was kind of fun. When, and it was an available domain, and we could register as it. Um, and uh, the association with Wikipedia was a boon, because as I do get to talk about in a minute, we're a collaborative high-tech team. And so that association only makes sense. Our car is modular, and modular on a level that's new to the automotive industry. In the very front, you see aluminum extrusions as a front crush zone. That's a detachable module. And what I mean by that is it's removable, and we can replace it with something else without changing the rest of the car. So that's version three of our module here, of our front impact structure module. So we're able to make enhancements to it without redeveloping our chassis. Now, the wheels you may see are on two foot by two foot, 60-61 T6 aluminum plates. All the suspension is mounted to it. What that lets us do is not just adjust suspension geometry, but suspension type. That's a module. Each of those four suspension quarters is loosely coupled and can be changed without changing our chassis in any way. They mount to the chassis the same way wheels mount to the tire of any car here with structural lugs. Right here we have McPherson strut suspension at all four corners. This car, as you're looking at it in the picture and as I'm standing next to it now, is 10 minutes away from having double wishbone suspension at all four corners or any other suspension you might care about. And the adjustability is unprecedented. Individually, per wheel, we're able to adjust camber, caster, toe, track, and wheelbase. As far as I know, on a production intent vehicle, and we'll talk about production intent in a minute, that's completely a first, that level of adjustability. And then also that the type is exchangeable. Our engine module wheels out using a pallet jack and removing six structural lugs. That means in about the time it takes to change a tire, we can switch from a gasoline engine to a methanol engine to an ethanol engine to a diesel engine to an electric system with any battery chemistry we might care about or might be valuable. And that was important to us in the XPRIZE. If a game-changing battery technology came about two weeks before race, we wanted to be able to integrate it without having to rebuild our chassis, our dashboard, our interior, our crush structures, our braking system. So we decoupled them. And that's still true in our production intent vehicle, making it, in a sense, future-proof, where people are able to change modules to the powertrain that's most effective at the time. After the XPRIZE in May, we focused our efforts on CAD, making a more attractive exterior that still had the aerodynamic profile we cared about. This is what we call inside the team Car Body 2. This was penned by Robert Moorbacher of Moore Composites, a man who has my utmost respect, especially when it comes to CAD skill. That's the car we ultimately decided to go forward with, which you see in front of us in structural carbon fiber. Once we decided this was the CAD we wanted to use, we went from CAD to carbon in three weeks. And now that three weeks was due to a supplier delay. The actual time we were working on that, uh, on, on the, uh, mold to carbon was three days. We innovated a carbon fiber layup process that made this body cost in structural carbon fiber less than $1,000. We'll talk about that again in a minute. Here's the car from the side using uh, Porsche 917 style Le Mans, uh, Le Mans racer wings, scissors wings. Those are being molded in Hillsdale, Michigan currently. I can't wait to use them. This is our next project. Um, this has not been unveiled. I think it was posted to Facebook last week, but essentially this is press new. Um, this is a, a city car, a convertible city car that we're using. Now this very different body style drops on the same chassis. Again, that modularity. A customer could decide they wanted this car instead of this car weeks after purchase, months, years after purchase. We're able to exchange entire body styles, and the chassis stays the same. And it's something that, again, changes about as simply as changing a tire. This prototype here at North American International Auto Show in 2011 features structural carbon fiber drop-on body, and it's draped over the same mechanicals, the same chassis that we campaigned with at the Progressive Insurance Automotive X Prize. Thank you guys very much for coming out and hearing what we had to show you. Uh, I'm available for questions, and feel free to come up and take a closer look at the car.